guys just gonna do a quick video i'm gonna show you a product that i got from amazon okay hi friends what's up so i'm gonna do a quick video from a product that i got from amazon it was just like this little cheap wax melting pot waxing kit it gets pretty hot so i was reading the instructions and um i'll put the details listed next to um screen by screen for you guys because the box is behind me i don't feel like getting everything but it came with like five or six packs of melting beads wax beads and there you go this is hot it didn't come with a glove to lift it but you can lift it it's kind of this the thing is kind of hot because it's all metal and it's attached to the little bucket and then down there you can see i've been seeing a lot of women do facial waxing now what, what got me interested in doing the facial waxing is because i kind of did the little you know at home cheap way to do the derma dermablation i think that's what it's called where you kind of like take the razor and shave your skin i feel like i don't press hard down when i'm taking not this one but you know the longer head when i have them somewhere on my desk but i'm taking one of them and i'm just like gently you know going over my skin i feel like i'm not pressing down too hard but the last few times that i've done that i've gotten really bad scabbing for like a week like if i just hardcore a razor to my face and then you know it scabs up and then of course like when i wash my face over the next few days all the scabbing will come off so i've i've personally never seen any videos where people talk about if they have scabbing and whatnot after having that procedure done whether you go to a professional or if you do it at home but i know i have scabbing i already have sensitive skin i have combination oily skin i don't like that combination of oily skin mixed with scabbing throughout the day especially when i'm working i feel not per se my face is irritated but i just feel it's one thing where your face is already oily but i just feel like gunkier on top of it because i know my skin is like peeling or scabbed up because i did it so i was just like i've been seeing videos online where people have been doing waxing opposed to you know doing it with the the razor and i did not know that so many women suffered from pcos i would have to do more research on that but some people have fertility fertility issues um it stems from fibroids all this stuff going on you know internally um with that disorder and sometimes their hom hormones overproduce to the point where they have like beards and i didn't know that so many people suffered like so many women had suffered with that i know it seems hereditary in my family where I don't know if you guys can tell but i pick right here sometimes on my face this has always been like this acne has always popped up on my cheeks i see charts online where they claim if you get acne here it indicates all of this stuff in your body but i don't know i'm not a professional i'll have to do more extensive research but i always get acne on my cheeks sometimes but i always have hair that grows like not a lot but just a teeny bit right here and right here and you can tell because i pick like i i like i don't know i like plucking the hair sometimes i don't know i'm weird like that like y'all don't fake y'all know y'all <laughs> i know i'm not the only one on here watching some weird stuff sometimes i watch videos of where they're popping out like blackheads uh sometimes i even watch videos where they're removing like callus or corns from the feet i don't really like the videos that are like that have like pus or like fluids but anything dry i catch myself watching stuff like that sometime and it's just it's just interesting like like it's it's normal for us to have wear and tear on certain parts of our bodies especially depending on what type of work that you do but i always wonder like how do people's feet get to this point where you know it's so callous and rough like that outside of you know diseases like diabetes and stuff like that you know what i'm saying like i'd be like oh my gosh and also when i see the blackhead videos i'm like you know i complain about this we all have our own struggles and imperfections and insecurities and i've always struggled with acne i still get acne but it's not as bad as it was in my younger years so i'm grateful for that however sometimes it still bothers me a little bit you know like who wants to walk around with hyperpigmentation and 
dark marks on their face and that's no matter whether I pick or not sometimes it just naturally comes and so I always um I always wonder like I I feel for people when I see blackhead and acne videos but I also wonder like oh my gosh like it's not the acne part like the blisters and pimples but the blackhead part I always wonder like how do they get such you know defined big poppable blackheads on their like on their faces or skin it's like really interesting and, and intriguing in some type of weird way and back to the hair waxing when i came across a few people like on tiktok i'll try to incorporate it um you know i'll probably mute it because i'm not you know trying to like take somebody's content or whatever but just to show you guys um two of the people that i follow like I've, I've watched their videos a lot on TikTok and I just didn't know that so many women had suffered from, you know, the beard or the overproducing of hormones that they, they have facial hair. And also like one of the YouTubers that I watch sometimes, I think her name is Daquana White, plus size vlogger. I did not know that she suffered with the same condition until I started seeing videos pop up of her doing her like weekly waxing. And I'm just like, wait a minute. I honestly never seen those type of videos pop up on her channel. I always see like her plus size thumbnails of her in different plus size outfits, but I never saw her put up a video of that nature. See the before and after, it was like, oh my gosh. Like I, I feel for women that produced hair like that um, all over their face, but just to see the before and after and also how people educate educate one another like the more you do waxing the less the hair will kind of grow in it or it won't grow in so thick just to like see before and after or different wax treatments on the same people over time to see the before like the thickness and how like it's true like it doesn't grow back it grows back but not as thick or you know visible you know it's very interesting to see that stuff so like I said, I only get like a little bit right here and right here. I think it's hereditary because my mom has it. My sister, she has it a little bit worse. Like she has it all over. And for me, like I said, I get it here and here. And my younger sister, kind of like in the same area too. So I think it's hereditary. I think it's safe to say that. But outside of those areas for myself, I you can't see anything on camera, but in person or like if I'm looking at one of those like magnifying mirrors i have like one that's like 20 and i have another one that's like 15 like looking inside those mirrors if i'm looking at one of those magnifying mirrors i can see fine hair like fine or like even if i took i don't want to take a razor to my face but like if i took a razor to my face and i did it like one side i could see fine hairs they're not thick they're not visible but after you're after i'm done you can tell especially like when you wipe with like a wipe the razor on the wipe or something and it'll just be like so dark from all the fine hair combined combined together and i don't know i just feel relief like in person i can feel the buildup of gunkiness on my face with the little fine facial hair that i have but then after i do it with the razor or like how i'm going to try waxing now you get a a sense of relief like and for the next few days it's like your skin is like glowing y you don't feel like there's a lot of dirt being captured on your face because the hair is no longer there i feel like my face starts to clear up a little bit so i i don't want to make it like a routine routine but if it's going to work then i i would definitely keep doing so this is new to me so let me see how hot it is, first of all. It smells like typical wax. I'm gonna start in small areas because the wax is still kind of like loose. And it says like to let it calm down for like five minutes. Mm. so it's it's like not too hot but it is kind of it's kind of it's not hot hot but it is kind of hot that's why i kind of put it on a little, a little teeny bit by a little bit blow it off a little bit
actually came with this. Oh, there, see, it, it, when you leave it on high too long, it'll automatically shut off. And then it'll, it'll let you turn it back on a little bit later. At first, I thought it was broken. It came with these, and I think I'm supposed to put these, like, around the rim of it. So then that way, excess wax won't. It didn't say it in the instructions, but I think that makes the most sense. So excess wax won't, you know, like, get it all over the, the, um, the bowl. So this is new to me. I've waxed before, but I haven't done it in so long. So this is new to me again until I get like some really like good pattern, you know, like comfortable to the point where I can like glide and stuff, you know. Yeah, it it kind of dries really fast too. Once you put it on, it melts, it, it dries up fast. I don't know if you could tell. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> so you probably can't see it because I'm recording from my iPhone. But they're just like little fine hairs on there little teeny hairs i put it up again when i see like a lot because i'm not gonna lie to you guys oh! oh jesus i see it in person it's like little fine tiny hairs Oh, it has to be a little bit more. Yeah, it has to be hot. Ooh, I can see all of the hairs on there. They're not like dark, dark. They're like little fine hairs. There you go. You can see it a little bit. I'm going to put it with the blackness of my hair so you can see it. This part is kind of easy. It's hard around the other parts. That was easy to do, that part. Okay. I want to see what's going to come off of this because this is where all the fine hair is all up in here. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay, so there you go. Just look above the blackness of my hair. And then when you look at it, you can't really see anything. Well, already um, my face feels kind of smooth because like I said, even though the hairs are really small and fine, you could definitely tell a difference and you can see a difference in person, like, you know, with the hair being removed from your face. I'm gonna do the next side, but I'll probably do the next side off camera, you guys, cause I'm like learning, you know, the different strokes and whatnot. So thanks for watching this video, my little bootleg waxing video. Um, I'll leave the details product within the video and I'll try to link the um, product description below. It was only like 15, either 15 or $19, but that's still not bad for a little, you know, rinky dink. 
I don't want to say rinky dink, but you know, like you get what you pay for, but we'll see how long this lasts. I'll keep you updated with that. But yeah. So thanks for watching this video. Definitely rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later.